Today, the Secretary of State announced the voter ID and minimum wage initiatives have been approved to be voted on. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more on what will be on the ballot come November. Election officials verified on Tuesday that the voter ID and Nebraska minimum wage initiatives will be on the ballot this November. Secretary of State Bob Evnen reviewed the initiatives and has said they meet the requirements to be placed on the ballot. If the minimum wage initiative is passed in November, then starting in 2023, the Nebraska minimum wage will gradually increase until it reaches $15 an hour by 2026. The Raise the Wage organization has been working at this for a while and says that this would benefit over 150,000 Nebraskans. We have talked to hundreds and in many communities, thousands of Nebraska voters who signed our petition and they agreed that raising the wage to a minimum of $15 gradually by 2026 is common sense for us. Some local businesses have also advocated for an increase in the minimum wage, saying it will boost Nebraska's economy. I spoke with Dave Titterington of Wild Bird Habitat in Lincoln and Omaha, a company that sells bird feeders and seed and works to support bird conservation. He said over the last 30 years, he's always paid his employees above the minimum wage because he believes it's the employees that make the business. It leads to better retention of employees. Um, the employees are happy. They provide great five-star customer service. And you can't have uh, better marketing than your employees. And if you pay them good, they're going to work hard. They're going to provide that customer service, and it's going to benefit your business. Dave said the two things he wants to get across to local businesses is that they market their business properly and they pay their employees a fair wage. He thinks a $15 minimum wage would be a good start to making sure workers are paid enough and reducing the need to replace employees, as well as improving Nebraska's economy. People that are working minimum wage right now, uh, by the time they pay their uh, daily expenses, there's not a lot of money left for them to go out uh, to spend at small businesses where if the minimum wage was increased, it would give the consumer more money to spend. Before voting on these initiatives in November, there will be several public hearings held in each of Nebraska's congressional districts to inform people about the initiatives on the ballot. There will also be brochures distributed at county election offices. Reporting in Lincoln, this is Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.